love is like a dying ember where only memories remain and through the ages I remember Well, I'm thinking of it to my friend George, uh, G-Man, as some of us affectionately call him. You were right about that lifter, George. All I had to do was just get it out and drive a little while, and, and uh, you know, it went away. That noise went away just from sitting so long. Um, I do believe she's turning out pretty good. You know, I think it's kind of nice for an old, you know, 30-year-old rig. These colors kind of clash, this red on this truck and that red, that brighter, lighter red in the carpet. But you know what? It's clean. It don't smell like mouse urine. This thing is a, it's a, it's a driver, you know? It's just a little cruiser. It's not a show car. So it's okay uh, that the color clashes a little bit. It matches the piping in the seat. <laughs> it's got that going for it, I guess. Anyway, I am um, about to um, throw that other seat in there. Then I'm going to back it up and pick it up with the lift and get underneath there and locate the holes for my uh, my seat belts. I know they're just about two and a half inches right there, but I don't want to take a chance and try and poke them from the top. I'll just get underneath and do it right. But, uh, well, I had a weak moment, I, I'll tell you. I almost just jacked the rear end up. Matter of fact, I'm going to tell you right now, this is how close I come. But luckily, I come, I come to, you know, I come to my senses and I didn't do it. But I almost threw this jack under there back and uh, jacked the rear end up and crawled underneath there on a creeper. <laughs> Can you imagine having to do something like that? A creeper? Why? Well, I've been on a creeper in well, over a year, I reckon. So, uh, Hmm. Yeah, I had a weak moment, but thank goodness I've come to my senses. So I'll just throw that other seat in there and, and then get her up in the air and locate my holes. And we'll call that carpet install done, I believe. I still got some door panels to put on. I don't like these, I never did. Uh, they don't fit well, they don't fit right. Something going on here. And one of them's broke. And, but I'm not going to do it today. I've had about enough. This is an all day job, believe it or not. Just putting that carpet in there. I started on that at. Nine o'clock this morning. Oh, I don't know what time is it now. It must be four o'clock, almost four o'clock. So, all right, see ya. Continues to grow out of control now, scorching 92 square miles. You can see the effects of it here as the smoke settles in this canyon. And even though the people in this area are not in the direct line of the fire, they are still feeling the impact. Are out on the front lines. The goal is to remove fuel that feeds the fire and get brake lines to prevent the fire from moving and jumping. Elite hotshot firefighters are already in place in some of the most difficult and remote areas. Even with air support, this is hardly making a dent. The fire at this time only 8% contained. And the urgency to get this wildfire under control is very real. The fire is moving ever closer to power lines that provide electricity for much of our state. Also nearby, a natural gas pipeline and two wind farms. Some evacuated property owners are at least waking up in their own homes after four days away, but still no relaxing. They've been told to remain on standby and could be forced to leave again.